Welcome back to our Click Hubs channel, guys and gals. So grateful that you decided to watch our video. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up your funnel URLs and paths. So when you're creating funnels and URLs inside of your Click Hubs account, again, which is based on a high level platform, you have a lot of different places to set up your URL paths, your links and things like that. And it can be very, very confusing. So I'm going to break it all down for you in this video so you know exactly how to set up your main funnel URL as well as your different pages or your different paths in the funnels as well as if you're doing split tests then you have yet another funnel path to set up and we are also going to touch on split testing how to set those up and give you an overview of that so let's jump into it it's going to be super helpful if you watch till the end you'll have a full understanding on how to set up the different paths in the different locations make sure you don't miss anything so you don't have those funky urls with the crazy numbers and things like that before we jump into it if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure to click that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications and we will see you on the other side In this video, we're going to go over how to set up your funnel paths properly. So if we head over to sites and funnels, I'm just going to create a new funnel just for the purpose of this. And we're going to just grab something from a template. So let's see, we're going to do, we're going to do lead capture. So let's go with this guy here. Going to continue. And we'll just give it a minute for it to upload. So I'm going to refresh the page. And here we can see 150 off our next service call. So let's open that up. So when we come inside of here, we have a few different places where we can set domains and paths for the website. So the first one is we're going to go into settings. And this is going to be the main domain. So I'm just going to select my domain here. And if you haven't set up your domain yet, you can click here and we have some videos on how to set up your domain and that's in the settings as well. You can see here it's added to home services and it has this number here. Uh, it's just because this is used a lot. So you can actually take this off. Uh, this is unique to your account. So you can take this off and this is going to be the main URL that you're going to send people to. So let's just save that. And then we're going to come out here. So we have in settings our main URL. In funnels, we have what's called steps. So the funnel steps are just the different pages of your funnels. And remember, in a funnel, it's different than a website. You're guiding people from one path to another path to another path. And these are called steps. So you're going to take them across these various steps as they complete one action only. This is what gives funnels a higher conversion rate when they're done right. So the first one is our claim page. And then we're going to have a booking page and a thank you page. And you can see the paths up here are changing for each of these. So I want to explain what these are. And then we also have some different paths here. If you click on the gear icons, you can see we have yet a different path here. I want to explain the differences between all of these. So let's just hop into this diagram here. So this is a, a diagram that I put together. And so the main URL that you're going to send people to is, for example, clickhubs.io PDF checklist. This is the link you're going to give to people that's going to bring them into this funnel. And this is going to bring them to the first step in the funnel. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have a control step, which is always set up for each of our steps. So this is going to be the page that they're going to come to. But we also have the option of split testing the funnels. And so we can create a second one, which is called a variation. So what's going to happen is if we have six people coming through here, it's going to send three people to one version, three people to another version. And these numbers will vary a little bit, but you, typically when you're split testing, you want to have large quantities of people before you can actually make a, any kind of a, a mathematical decision on this. But to simplify this, when you have six people coming here to the main URL that you shared, you may put that in a Facebook ad, you might send that on emails, maybe a social media post, but this is the link you're going to share and this is where you're going to send people. ClickHubs is going to make the decision to send half of those people to the control and half of those people to the variation. So the variation is what you will create to make your test if you want to test a headline or something like that. And so when you have your main funnel step here, it's going to have your main URL. So in this case, we have clickhubs.io slash PDF dash checklist dash opt-in. This is the main URL for this funnel step. But within this funnel step, we may have two different variations because we're doing a test. So what I like to do is put a dash C at the end for the control. 
and a dash V at the end for the variation. And I'll alternate this variation. So this is the first variation that I'm testing. So I'll call this V1. If I decide to close this split test and then create another split test, I'll call that V2. And this is always going to be C. So no matter what happens here, the control is always going to be C. And then the V1, I'm going to be able to track different split tests. And so I'm going to be changing this as I test different things. And then when people come to one or the other of these and then they opt in or whatever action you have on this funnel step, it's going to take them to the next funnel step. In this case, we have PDF-checklist-sales. So this would be step two of the funnels. So let's hop back into ClickHubs and then we'll go over this again and explain this so it'll make a little bit more sense to you. So once again, when we come to the settings, this is going to be the main URL that you're going to share with people to get them into this funnel. And so here we have home services. So this is for the entire funnel. This is going to be the top page here. And then when we come into our steps here, we have our first step is a claim page. So I'm gonna come in, you can either come into publishing here or you can come in and click the gear icon here. But this is going to be the main URL for this funnel step. So we can update that. So now you can see this step is clickhubs.io claim dash page. Now we also have a control step here. So I'm going to click this gear icon and this is also claim page, but I'm going to just add a dash C. So I know this is the control version of this step. And if I do create a variation of a split test, so I'm going to come here and create a variation and I'm going to duplicate the control page. Let's say I want to test out a different headline. So then I can come in here and once I edit this, I'm just going to change it just a little bit. Doylestone's most trusted pest removal company ever. And let's see if that one does better than the original one. So now we come out back out to our funnel step. And you'll see we have two versions here. So in this version, let's just open this up so we can take a look. This has our original headline. And then we've created this version which has a different headline. So now we're going to click the gear icon for the variation. And for this one, I'm just going to change this to V1. So that means this is my first variation for the split test. And if you want to run the test, then you can come here and you can say I want to run 50% of traffic to each one of these and apply. So now that we have our two split tests set up here, we can come in and we can take a look. So if I click on the URL to the main funnel page, and I'm going to open this in an incognito window, you can see this takes me to the claim page dash V1. So that takes me to the variation. And you can see I've got my ever here. So this is my headline that I'm testing. If I come back and we do it again in an incognito window, it takes me to V1 again. So this is going to be random, but over time it's going to actually calculate so it splits this up. So now you can see this one comes to claim page C, and this has my original headline. So this is really why we want to have our naming conventions for these different steps. So we can keep track of these, and you definitely want to keep some documentation on these so you can manage your split tests and see. When you come into the stats here, you can also come and take a look. And you can see we have two different claim pages. So you can see what's going on, which one is converting better. And then once it converts better, you can come in here and you can declare this as the winner or declare this as the winner. And then once you do that, it will remove the variation and it will merge the two together and place your winner here. And you can see here you have your split test. So here's control, here's variation. And so the traffic is coming from the claim page, which is our main step URL here. And once people click into the funnel, they'll come here and see the main page here. Now let's do this one more time for the booking page. So for the booking page, we have our URL here and it's called appointment. So we're just going to leave that as appointment and take out the numbers. If you see a bunch of numbers after you save it again, that means that you have this same path saved somewhere else. And so you'll have to either change that one or change this one, but you can't use this twice inside of your account because there's going to be a conflict. So now we have book service appointment here. Now we can come to our control and we're going to call this, I'm actually going to just copy this here. And then we're going to call this the same name, but we're going to put a dash C so we know this is our control. And now if we created a variation here, I'm just going to duplicate the main page and we'll click the gear icon here to update this one. 
And this one is going to be our same thing, but I'm going to call this variation one and update the page. And then again, if I merge these together and then after testing, going through hundreds and hundreds of people coming through here and I decide my winner, then this variation goes away and now I have my new control. And then if I do another split test and create another variation, I would call that V2 so that I can track the different variations and see what's been working and what hasn't been working. So if we come here to this funnel step and open it in a private browser, we can see we're taken to the V1 here. And then if we test it again in a private browser, there's a V1 again. And let's just test that again and see so it's kicking me out to the V1 several times. And we finally get to the C, which is the control. So you might be wondering how come I went to V1 three or four times before I go to the C. It's not a direct split, but it does split as you get enough traffic through here. It is a 50-50 split at that point. So you may not see two or three in a row going each one, but over time it is going to split the traffic 50-50 and you have to do a large number, several hundreds of people coming through here in order to make any kind of a educated guess on which one is the converting funnel here. So hopefully that makes clear as far as the differences between our main funnel URL and again, this is, let's go back here to our main claim page. I'm going to refresh this page. It's, so once again, when we go into settings, this is the main URL for this entire funnel. This is what we're going to be sharing with people, whether it's Facebook or ads somewhere else, Google ads, social media, emails. And then when we click into the different funnel steps, we have our main funnel step URL here. And then here in the gear icons, we have the URL for our control and the URL for our variation. And we have that for each of the steps. And then if we come to the third page here, you can see, let's just update this one here. So this is our thank you. And we don't have a variation here. I'm not going to split test the thank you page, although you may want to if you have additional actions. So what I would do here is I would just call this thank you the same thing as my main step and then C dash C. That way, if I ever do a split test, it's going to be in there. And you can see that it added a number here. I already have a thank you somewhere inside of my account, so I can't use that. So what I can do is say service call thank you. So that's going to be unique. And now this one should save. And then I like to always match these so that I have some consistency here. So I'm going to come back and change this one, but I'm just going to have a dash C on the end. So we have service call thank you. And then here we have the service call thank you with the dash C indicating this is our control path. And then if we had a variation here, we would add a V1, V2 as we go on. So hopefully that really makes sense. It is a little confusing, but this is really the best way to set things up so you can manage your split tests and you can really keep track of what's going on with things and again here you can see that it tells you which is the main link that people are coming into this path and then it's splitting them between the two different variations all right guys and gals you can see it's very confusing you've got a ton of different places to set this up but by now you have a full understanding of how to do that so make sure you go through your funnels and your websites and clean up those paths and get them set up so that they make sense and you have the proper naming conventions so before we head out, make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, once again, subscribe below, click the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions or comments at all, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to get back to you. I will see you in the next video.